G'day, I'm Dave Austin, and uh, today we're testing our jigs. We're not testing them out, we've, we've already tested them, though we know that they work. But uh, it's the first chance I've had to go fishing for a while. So I've been too busy with shipment 12, which saw us introduce these uh, eggy head black pearl editions. Now uh, that one there is a dragonfly, which you can see there. And uh, that's a 3.0. These ones came with a black base and a sort of, it's sort of more like a pearlescent type of cloth on there, which gives it a nice glimmer in the sun. So that cloth's kind of glistening there. And uh, we're just doing our first drop now, so we'll see how we go. I think we've got a big cuttlefish on this. Oh no, that would have been a cuttlefish. This is just a smallie. Check that spot. We let that one go. Nice. Okay, I've just dropped these ones down now. And I'm pretty confident we're gonna get something. This drift, well, when we get in the zone. So I wanna get them all ready. I wanna get that drift just spot on. And I think, I think we're on or we're yeah, we got one. Very nice. Doesn't feel very huge, but he's okay.
and that's the Shigeisen W. Now have a look at that. Beautiful colours in the sun there, shimmering. That black base works wonders. Keep going. Oh no, look at that horse, look at that horse. <laughs>
Okay, this is one of those situations that I don't get too often. Uh, it's a situation where we get a where we get a glass out, meaning no wind, little or no current. So what I've done now with these ones, I've taken I've taken the ball sinker off two of them, and I'm using this this Bumblebee uh, Black Pearl Edition 3.5. Nothing there. I've got to actually cut that. I'm gonna to have to cut that little knot off there, but um, well, sorry, that little tag end. But what we what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two rods casting out, just letting them sink. We're in about 11 meters, and we've got that Shigason. Um, that one caught me that big squid before. Uh, we're gonna get that one out there um, with no weight whatsoever, no swivel, nothing, and we're just gonna work it. So what I'll do is I'll cast this one out. And that tends to sort of dive on a 45 degree angle. So we'll just we'll just leave that be for the time being and that'll just just leave the slack line. You know it'll it'll sink nice and nice and slowly. They're 17 grams these 3.5 so they don't sink too fast. But what I'll do here is just cut this tag end off this bumblebee. And if you want these eggy head jigs. These are the Black Pearl Editions. These ones here are actually sold out. They're one of the quickest ones to go. Um, but yeah, check out uh, my Facebook page, Dave Austin Fishing, and there's a Shop Now button on that. And that'll guide you straight to the store. Okay, so we'll let that sink. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave one one with a ball sinker there. Okay, we're gonna leave that one there with a ball sinker and a snap swivel. Okay, and we're just gonna drop that one straight down and just sort of teabag that. And you definitely wanna make sure that one hits the bottom. So once you start sort of noticing that your uh, jig's bouncing across the bottom, then lift it up about a meter or so. So we'll keep going with that. I'll just reset this camera. That is an absolute donkey. Let's get him up. Let's try to get him. And that was on the Shigason W, just a small one. 3.5 once again. Once again, we're not using any extra weight on these. And, and the action of the jigs as it's sinking is what's doing the damage.
So as you can see that time around, okay, when we're glassed out, we weren't moving very quick and we got rid of the weights. So the, the sink action with the jigs on their own was enough to basically trigger a strike. And we got a, we got a couple there and we got a decent one as well. But it doesn't always work that way. We can see that the wind's now swinging over to the east. Um, we're gonna start moving pretty quickly soon. So at some point I'm gonna have to change that. So this wind's picked up a little bit, but we're still not moving that quickly with the drift. So, once again, we've got our 10 pound leader. Now, someone was asking what leader am I using? And it's this stuff here. FC Rock from, um, from Sunline, it's made in Japan. 10 pound, uh, 2.5, okay? So, and FC Rocks, it's pretty good. I've, I've been pretty happy with it. So now this wind is starting to pick up a little bit. Hopefully we don't drift too quickly. So we're leaving that, we're casting it as far as we can and we're leaving it and it's, the way that that sinks, it's gonna just work itself. At some point I'll come back to it because we're in 11, uh, yeah, 11 meters. That's got plenty of time to get down so we don't have to rush it because these, these are sinking slow. These 3.5s, they're 17 grams. So that's the Shigeson W, and this one's the Demon Bumblebee. No, sorry, it's the Bumblebee Black Pearl Edition. Me? And this one, we're running just on a with, with a running ball sinker, the way that I usually fish my deeper my deeper sections. Okay, that's the setup I'm using there. You can see that's been getting belted as well. I've got a cuttlefish before that one, so it's been smashed. Okay, now because the wind's been swinging, I'm not sure which way the current's going to actually take me. So this one should be getting close to bottom. So we'll just pick up the slack on that. We're doing alright. I'm pretty sure we've got over 10 squid. It's 
before we got a, a snag on this one. So we're starting to blow with the wind this way. And because this one's all the way over there, all it's gonna do is just gonna keep coming up too high in the water column. We need it in that weed, in that kelp bed down the bottom. I think something's having a touch of that one. It might be the bottom there, but something's breathing on it. I'm hoping. Something is touching it. Oh. Ah, bummer. I knew something was having a go. Let's see if he comes back. Another small one. A lot of small ones today. Once again, proving my point that 3.5s will catch small squid.
Never use glow sticks at night. Knowing my luck, I turn the camera on live and I don't get nothing. But I've got two so far in the well. I, we released one uh, and I dropped the cuttlefish as well. I've got all the video on that, as, so, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Just doing the live thing a little bit. The drift that I'm trying to do isn't really working. It keeps changing, the current and the wind. Seems to be swinging a little bit. Well, if you get this on live, it'd be great. There's one there. Let's see if we can get him. I just had a touch. Come on, come back. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're on. This is Dave Austin live fishing. We'll see if that one comes back as well. Not bad, huh? Okay, there we go, guys. That's number three in the world. And that was on that, uh, on the cage. Tight lines.
Okay, well, we'll call that a day. We had a pretty good day there on the Eggyhead Black Pearl uh, Edition jigs. Um, look, once again, I've got to thank everyone for su supporting this shipment again. Uh, that was shipment 12. Um, these ones had the, um, mate, these things were just getting belted by the squid, you know. Um, that, that cloth there, when the squid smash it, you can you can see that. They can obviously tell that they're injuring. If you've got a if you've got a squid jig that's that's got a harder cloth, and a squid comes up and tries to bite it and doesn't leave a mark, it's probably gonna th it's probably gonna think twice before it has a second or a third go at it. Sometimes, depending on how they're fe how they're feeding. Um, but but you got to think to yourself if you went up with that strong beak and, and had a go at something, and let's say you missed the hook. Um, and then when you went back to have a, have a second look, you, you saw that you didn't even leave a scar. Um, you'd have to think twice before reading it, before before trying to have a second go or a third go even. So once they see that, they, they sense that it's injured. And you know, the idea there is, and I've got some, I'm sure I've got some footage through this video where they're attacking that. Anyway, let's count how many squid we've got because we don't want to go over the bag limit in New South Wales, which is 20. So let's count them. Okay, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Have a look at that donkey. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 and 21 he's going back in and off he goes because the bag limit's 20 and we do the right thing here it was too hard to count them because it got crazy there for a while have a look at them puppies if you can see them I'll spin the camera around okay so there's our prize 20 squid and we let that last one go because I miscounted uh, but we also let some go uh, as they're on the hooks we let them swim free all right make sure you check out my uh, Facebook page facebook.com slash Dave Austin fishing click the shop now button if you want to get that get your hands on those uh, those bad boys over there uh, that's the eggy heads black pearl edition and that green one there's that's part of the um, uh, the eggy head tribe series that we're doing now um, yeah, so happy days.